Triple L crew, it's Ida YL, and today I'm going to be sharing with you eight things you should keep far, far away from your locks. Stay tuned. So this video is for any and everyone who has locks. Um, more specifically for the newbies, um, and this is to shorten your learning curve as you get used to having locks. Um, first and foremost, I want to say, if you're a newbie, keep everything away from your locks. Just joking. Um, if you're within, you know, your first few months to a year and so forth, even if you have mature locks, these are some things you should be aware of to keep away from your locks. And, uh, of course, it's your choice to keep them away from your locks or not. Just knowing the possible, uh, issues these things could cause is important. All right, so in no particular order, we're going to start with number one. Yes. You should definitely keep wool away from your locks. And you're like, where am I going to get some wool anyway? Well, wool is in the fabric we wear. When it gets cold outside, when the fall and winter comes, we're going to be wanting to put on our wool sweaters, our wool scarves. And if you have length in your locks and your locks are long enough to touch your sweater or touch or touch your uh, scarf, you want to be mindful that wool can definitely get into your lock. So you really want to keep your locks far away from that type of fabric. Now, not to say you can't wear sweaters or you can't wear scarves anymore. Just be mindful of the material it's made out of. And if you are wearing it, you may want to keep your locks up so that it's not touching the wool. Because before you know it, you'll be looking in the mirror at the back of your head or uh, looking at the locks that hang low and you're going to be wondering, what is all this color from? Think back. It's probably from that wool sweater or that wool scarf. All right, uh, the second thing you should keep away from your locks is cotton. Now, this is something you should keep away from your locks in terms of sleeping on it, putting it over your head, um, because it can dry out your locks. It can pull all the moisture from your locks. Now, the other side of cotton is you can use cotton to dry your locks after you wash your hair. So I would say that would be the only exception. If you're washing your hair, you can use a, tea, a cotton t-shirt to dry your hair and it'll literally dry it faster. It'll suck up all the, the uh, water out of your hair and then you can let the rest of it air dry. Um, so something that sucks the water out of your hair so easily should not be something you're keeping on your head or allowing your hair to touch it if you're not trying to remove water. Because if it's just oils in your hair, you don't want that to be sucked out anytime cotton touches your hair. So you want to, unless you are drying your hair after washing, you want to keep um, extended exposure or use of cotton touching your uh, hair limited or uh, not at all. All right, a third thing we want to make sure to keep away from our locks is smoke and other strong odors. I remember once being invited to a event that was at a bar and this bar, of course, allowed smoking. So as soon as I walked into the bar, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to wash my hair. True enough, you know, I spent a couple of hours there. As soon as I left there, I could still smell the smoke in my locks. I don't smoke. I typically am not around smokers. So me going to this bar was me putting myself in an environment that was full of smoke. And my hair, true enough, Soaked in all of those uh, smoke, cigarette smoke smells. And um, I definitely had to wash my hair. And just be mindful of other strong odors. Uh, you don't want to be walking around having a strong odor uh, that's been absorbed by your hair because of somewhere you've been and so forth. So if you do happen to find yourself around a lot of smoke or a lot of strong odors, you want to wash your hair immediately. You don't want that to settle in and... Uh, be there so that when you're coming across other people, they're like, hmm, they get a whiff of smoke and you are not the one that's been smoking. All right, a fourth thing that you want to keep away from your locks is Velcro. <laughs> now I know you're like, where am I going to get some Velcro? I don't typically interact with Velcro. True, that may be true. Uh, my wallet where I keep my cards um, has a little Velcro strip that keeps it closed. 
So now that my locks are longer, whenever I'm looking down and pull out my card, before I know it, one little lock will graze across the top of that Velcro, and I'm, like, pulling it to try to get it loose. So I'm like, keep Velcro away from your hair. You don't want anything pulling individual hairs outside of the lock because that jeopardizes, um, you know, the integrity of the lock. You don't want any hairs being pulled loose. All right, uh, a fifth thing you should keep away from locks is a hard bristle brush. Um, yeah, you don't want anything that's going to possibly pull hairs loose from the lock. And brushing your hair with a hard bristle brush could do that. Um, so keep that far away from your hair. Newbie, um, years in, so far. Um, I know some people share using a brush for uh, grooming or lint removal. But I would say that's probably like a soft bristle brush. Either technique I have not used. Um, anything that's going to pull any hairs loose and I already have small locks. Anything that's going to pull any hairs loose. I'm going to stay away from it. Um, but if you have thicker, and like I said, you go into it knowing the possible issues it could cause, then, hey, go forth and do what you decide to do. But I just want you to be aware that this could possibly happen. Definitely with a hard bristle brush. Um, but, of course, you can always test things out to see if it works for you. Um, but with small locks, I don't even want to chance it. Because I had some issues a couple of years ago, not with the brush, but with me trying to get a grooming done on my locks, and it caused some issues. So I don't want anything that's going to pull locks or loose any hair that's around the lock. I forgot for a moment what number am I? I think I'm on six. So the sixth thing you should keep away from your locks, far, far away, is dust. And I bet you're like, okay, me just going about my day life, I'm not encountering any dust. I don't, I don't know if... Um, you realize, but like when you're cleaning, you want to make sure you're covering your hair when you're cleaning. Um, so that, you know, whatever you are, you know, cleaning up, if there's dust in the air from you sweeping or whatever it may be, that it's not settling in on your, in your locks. So you want to make sure to cover your hair when you're dusting and things like that. And if you work in an environment where there's like dust flying, definitely cover your hair. If you're outside doing yard work, make sure you cover your hair. You don't want those particles settling into your locks. All right, a seventh thing you should keep away from your locks is sand. I know we love to go to the beach. We love to go travel, and I as well. Like right now, I'm in need of some vitamin C, NCA. And um, one thing I would say is just be mindful that you're not laying your locks in the sand and, uh, you know, getting sand in your locks. Now, of course, some things may be unavoidable. I know when I was in the ocean once, I was close to the shore and uh, I was, you know, just kind of like playing around in the water. And before I knew it, I had like sand all around my neck. So uh, I didn't dip my head in the ocean. I just was like up to like chest and neck level and so apparently there was sand in that part of the water that was freely flowing and I didn't see it so I had sand all around this my hair was up so it didn't get into my hair so just be mindful of that if you are really close to shore I'm sure if you go further out that probably wouldn't be, be, be an issue but if you're close to shore if you're on shore just be mindful of not getting sand in your hair now I'm not saying go to the beach with a swim cap on if you choose to Go for it. But um, if you're putting your head in the water or laying your head on something, just make sure that you are not getting sand in your locks because, you know, those little particles get in there. They're going to be in there. <laughs> so be months later, you're going to be walking around like, what's that? And it's a little sand just falling out, I would assume, because, you know, things get in the lock and they're just in there. All right, the eighth thing that you should keep away from your locks is extra creamy products if it's creamy stay away um and that would just be my advice to you but of course you take this advice what works for you all right so whether you are a newbie if you're a newbie keep everything away from your locks but if you're months in or years in i'm sure there's something in this video has been helpful and a reminder for you to stay away from those things uh, and if you do decide to still, you know, use those things or not stay away from it, just go into it knowing the possible effects it could have. Um, if there's anything that I have missed, which I'm sure there is, this is not a complete list. This is just eight things um, that I want you to keep in mind. 
but there's something else that comes to mind and you're viewing this video and you've experienced it or you know something about it, please feel free to share with me and everyone else in the who comes across this video, share in the comments below so that we're mindful and that we remember to stay away from those things as well. I appreciate everyone who's tuned in, watched the video all the way through. Thumbs up this video. Allows more people to be able to see the video. Share it across all social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like, what's the hold up? It's free. And I make videos for you every week. Just for you. Uh, I really appreciate everyone who tunes in. I appreciate everyone who has been commenting. And um, I absolutely love it. Remember to keep it fly. Keep it fabulous. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.